In this video, let's take a look at the Kogo distance offset routine. I'm going to bring up Kogo. Here's the distance offset routine right here. And I'm going to use this routine because maybe the contractor has said, I want you to stake a point that's 50 feet along this line from 2 to 3, the back property line, and uh, so many feet over, maybe uh, 10 feet over for the uh, setback over here. So it's real easy for me to come into the Kogo routine, use the chevron to uh, pick the line I want to work with. I just picked the line from 2 to 3. So any distance I'm going to enter is going to be from 2. Uh, let's say that I wanted to uh, enter that distance from 3. Maybe that's what the contractor specified. So I'm just going to reverse the end of the line I click on, come up here. And now I get the line from 3 to 2, which is going southwest instead of northeast. So it's real easy for me to pick the uh, point I want to start from and the line all in one fell swoop like that. Now I'm going to put in 50 feet and um, I'm purposely going to put in this offset the wrong way. I'm going to put it in as 10 feet left. But if I'm going from 3 to 2, it would put it outside of the property and I want it inside. So we're going to correct that in just a minute. Then I can come down and tell it what point I want to use. And a real easy trick is I just type a point that I know already exists, and I can say use the next available point number. Okay, I could have also created a unique point label based on three or two, however I wanted to do that. I'm just going to say I'm just going to use the next available point number 24. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to plot it. And I can see that, oh yeah, I put in the offset the wrong way. It should have been to the right. So we're just going to go ahead and correct that, put in the 10 feet, as soon as I do, uh, Traverse PC recomputes the point, and I just save 24. Now I have the new position for it here. Really a, a nice uh, routine. I, I could put these points in with some other Kogo routines, like multiple points on a line, that sort of thing. But sometimes if I want just one point, this is a great way to do it. Another use for this tool is, let's say I just want a point on line here somewhere. Now let's say I want a point that's just uh, 30 feet up, from 2 on the line to 3. I'm going to pick that line. I'm going to put in my 30 feet, which is my distance, but I'm going to put in 0 for my offset. Okay, And I'm going to use the next available point number, 25, save that, and plot it. So now I have a point that's 30 feet along the line from 2 to 3, but uh, with no offset, it puts it right on the line. So whether or not I spef specify an offset, this distance offset tool is a great way to get that one or two points uh, that I need right now real fast. Now while we're here, let's switch over to the west side of the lot and uh, see how this works for curves. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in here a little bit tighter so you can see this curve over here. I'm going to use the chevron just like I did before, the double one, and I'm going to say I want to pick this curve from 1 to 5. Now, Traverse BC tells me that it's from 1 to 5, but also tells me it's a clockwise curve. And I get the arc length and radius here. Just kind of some feedback, positive feedback, that I really have what I'm interested in. And let's do the same thing we did before. Let's go 50 feet. I want 10 feet, which would be to the right in this direction. Uh, I can use the next available point number just by typing any existing number saying give me the next one. I'm going to save, yes, and plot. So here's my point 26, um, 50 feet up and, and 10 feet over. And just like we could with the um, tangent line, I can also put a point in 100 feet and give it a zero offset. Let's call that 27. Save that. Plot that. And now I have this point. I'll move this out of the way here a little bit, just so you can see that. I have this point 27 that's on the curve, 100 feet from point 1. Okay. Now, one little uh, trick to keep in mind, and I can't remember if we can do it on this or not. I'm going to tell Traverse BC to go the other way here. And I'm going to put something that's out here a little farther. Let's go 200 feet. And uh, let's see if we can put in point 28 just past. Okay, so we can. 
So uh, I d I'm not limited to the end of the curve. Do you see what I did in this particular case? I said, let's start at five. Let's go along this curve, but let's extend past the curve. So I went 200 feet, and I basically have got 0.28 that's on the extension of this arc. And Traverse BC let me uh, take the information from this line from five to one, simply extend it on down based on that uh, distance along the arc. So I, I'm dealing with an arc distance now instead of a tangent distance when I'm working with this curve on the west side of the lot.